I think back on, uh, you know, Preach for Life, whether it was in Wichita or here in Lincoln or in different places where we've been together. And one of the things I think that uh, I have seen, uh, both as a priest and as a bishop, as a, as a, a great value is uh, helping uh, priests be able to preach and teach the pro-life message, giving us, giving us the courage, giving us the tools, the arguments, uh, the information to be able to, um, like you yourself do so well, Father Frank, to get up in front of people and, and speak about a subject that is uncomfortable. You know, it's uncomfortable. Nobody, nobody likes to preach about abortion, but to be able to preach about it in a loving and winning way that win that, that win hearts over to the life side, you know. So that's been one of the greatest, I think, uh, and, and continues to be because uh, as young as young priests are coming up through the ranks, and I've found that uh, these our younger generation priests um, are really um, ready to step into the uh, battle and to preach and teach the truth of the, of, of the church, but to give them the tools like Priest for Life does to be able to preach well and compassionately and with, um, you know, with eloquence, but also with pa passion and, uh, and conviction. That's really one of the great things that Priest for Life does, I think. And also the, the different, uh, the other thing too, I have to say at the same time, because I, uh, was one, I, 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 when I was pro-life director in Wichita, um, I started Project Rachel. So um, that, you know, as just as as as, as passionately as we preach the, the, uh, against abortion, at the same time we have to preach the mercy for women and for fathers, mothers and fathers who've gone through the abortion experience, and to reach out to the walking wounded. And to have that compassion for them, um, because I think one time you said, uh, no one really chooses, no woman ever chooses to get an abortion. She's, it's not a, it's not a choice. It's she feels forced into it, and she's been pressured into it by those who really should be giving her good advice, but who aren't. And so, reaching out to those who have suffered the trauma of an abortion, either through Project Rachel or Rachel's Vineyard or Silent No More. All these things that uh, Priests for Life do such a good job, and that's that you've got you've, you can't ever lose that. That's that's such an important aspect of this whole thing. So, anyway, I, I have great hope, and I hope that uh, that uh, Priests for Life continues uh, to flourish.